I was an employee of the Middlesex County Council and was a domiciliary midwife in East Twickenham. And several of the GPs were very keen on circumcising the little b b boys that were born at home. And um, it was thought to be a very good thing to have done. It would cost 12 guineas, of course, but um, that was even better. And um, it was amazing that people who were selected to have the little boys advised to be circumcised were those who could afford 12 guineas. And um, I was, uh, it was suggested to me that I recommend Dr. Bloggs and his uh, scalpel to the women. And, uh, and I did, to my shame. It wasn't so much the actual operation, which was very quick, and it was fairly bloodless, the ones I saw, but it was the aftercare, because there was, these boy, little boys were in pain, and they were in pain for several days, and they didn't feed well. Informed consent um, for procedures being done to the mothers was becoming fashionable, that the women had to be asked whether you did various procedures to them, but the dental boys weren't being asked. And there was informed consent for mum, but there was no informed consent for the little boys that were being circumcised. As a midwife in practice, I didn't really meet up with female genital mutilation, though I'd heard about it. And a um, midwifery organisation I belonged to did study days on it, and I attended them. And I was appalled to find that female genital mutilation was still being carried out in Britain. And that we were still being, and I, I looked after a couple of women who had been mutilated, and who had pretty horrible labours, and um, I didn't really meet with the. I wasn't working in a community where it was common, but I thought to myself, these babies, these little girls, are not giving informed consent, and then I realised that there was a huge cohort of men who had been circumcised, who resented it very, very much, and who certainly hadn't given informed consent to be circumcised. And I, remem I, I remember the, my days in East Twickenham and the GPs who had uh, circumcised little baby boys for uh, 12 guineas. And it was amazing how I, my memory came back. And then I, I worked on the Isle of Wight and it wasn't, it was very, very rarely that there was a baby circumcised in the Isle of Wight. And then I came to work <coughs> in an area where there was one of the consultants who uh, was quite keen on circumcising and he referred to it as his willy money. And I understand um, from a friend of his wife that it paid for the upkeep of the swimming pool. <laughs>